Yo, you're listening to, uh, what's it called? Ben and Brett Talk of the Town. Yo, this is MC Huge, and you're listening to Ben Glaze and his friend Brett with a last name that rhymes show. I don't know. What's it called, Hazed and Glaze? Glaze and Haze. Sup, y'all. They make nuts that hang out of jeans. <laughs> they do? Yeah. Jean nuts. <laughs> For women who want that ball out of the jeans feel. <laughs> See what it's like to go balls out. <laughs> I want to go balls out, but I just don't know how. No, you can't. <laughs> well, we got a big show today. It's a freedom to be yourself and say what you want and know oh. that the intent is good. But if you're just trying to make each other laugh and be giggly, then that then it then it takes all the all the bad away. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, your 22nd favorite podcast is back with another episode. They swore that they'd try to bring you quality product this week, but they failed miserably. It's time for Balls Out with Ben Glees and Brett Hayes. It's so cartoonish yep. and stupid and ridiculous that I'm, I think it's humorous. Yeah, oh yeah. fuck, this is going to be laughs all night. Star Wars. Where the whores are in the stars. In a world where bread wears shorts and a mask and yawns. I know if it works on me. Literally, Just thinking guys. About it. And when I say guys, I mean. And dolls, ladies out there. Guys uh, and gals. The audience. I sent Ben like three Snapchats over the week of me just yawning. And I don't know if it was three. It might have been more. It might have. It probably was. Well, there was a picture as well, I think. Gets me every one. time. And every time, every, every response I get is, damn you, or fuck off. It's the worst. It's Makes the me worst. not want to look at He's you. He's not looking at me. Your phone's going off, Ben. You fucking popular or something? No, man. Why are you yawning? I didn't even yawn. Because we're talking about it. My phone's not going yeah. off. So walking out of the radio station, Bill and I are about to walk out of the door. Some dude wearing like leather armor that he made like a medieval. What? Like like a chest shield and shoulder armor and stuff like that. And he had some. Like chain mail? <laughs> no, it wasn't like that. It was all like leather. Oh, that's right. You said leather. Yeah. <laughs> I was paying attention. And he's like wearing like Prince of Persia pants and shit like that. Like, um, was he about to do some parkour? Like, like parachute pants, kind of, is what they look like a little bit. Hammer time. Hammer time. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? So we waited an extra like Stop five. Stop the hammering. An extra five to 10 seconds to walk out the door. We didn't know. That guy had something in his backpack, like something sharp. I don't know what it was, but we kept our distance, Ben. Wow. Yeah, it was weird. Very weird. Why didn't you find out where he was going to LARP? I don't know. I didn't want to. <laughs> He'd be like, hey, I choose you, Pokeball. <laughs> oh, God. I can only imagine. Mm -hmm. So I had my brother's wedding this weekend. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Did you do stand-up? No, uh -huh. no, no. Thank God. Thank God I don't think any of my brother's... Uh, well, my, I guess, now sister-in-law, oh, um, none of her family knows that I do stand-up, oh, so I didn't get, like, questions or... So they're like, hey, you should put this in your act. <laughs> just, yeah, never mind. I got a joke for you. <laughs> hey, got a joke for you. I don't need them. I'm drunk and making them up as I go. Tell us a joke. <laughs> so was it good? Anything uh, interesting happened? No, not really. Oh, okay. Cool. Was that it? Is... Yeah, that's uh, basically it. I wish I had something to report, but I really don't. Okay. That's cool. Went down without a hitch. Uh, we, uh, the ceremony was at a golf course where, I guess, Kid Rock plays. Mm, so, like, mid-Michigan somewhere? Uh, like, Novi? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know why it's called Novi? No, I don't. <laughs> it's because the train running through the town was the number... I think, uh, is that how uh, new Roman numerals work? Six, I think. Yeah. Number six. N -O ah. V6. Mm. Yeah. It's boring. Hey. <laughs> uh, off of that wedding comedy uh, little bit that you just yeah. said there that really phew, skyrocketed, uh, skyrocketed you into fame, hopefully. I went to a comedy show last night, and it was uneventful also. 
Okay. But anyways, so this <laughs> this should hopefully be more entertaining. Um, these I saw a video online last week of a, a wedding ceremony, and the or he wasn't the priest, but the guy who was marrying them, pastor, whatever. He was a comedian. Reverend. Oh, so he's like he's basically calling everybody out in the crowd roasting people roasting everybody roasting the bride roasting the groom the dad and then he roasts like one of the cousins or some dude who's wearing like a hawaiian shirt and yeah long hair or whatever he roasts him and the guy fucking lunges at him it is the best thing i've ever seen and how interesting would that be to have a comedian do your wedding with it it was a ceremony or yeah. was yeah he it, was he was marrying them I feel like you would do the save that for like the reception. Yeah. You want me to try and find the video? Yeah. Whoa, okay. you're angry. That's yeah. That's yeah. what the guy was like. Come on, man. Take a joke. It's a joke. Officiating wedding. <laughs> yeah. What else did I do this weekend? Oh, nothing. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Found it. It's three minutes long. Is that okay? Oh, boy. Uh, should be good though. We gotta plug oh, this. We're not even. I mean, how much do you hate your country to marry Bob? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> but those girls are the best in bed. Are the crazy because right the Marines because they take all their nonsense out on your penis. Like I hate my dad. Gobble gobble gobble. You know, I'm, not, I'm having a good day. I mean, this is fun. I got invited to a pool party at Casey Anthony's house. And, uh, it's supposed to be killer. <laughs> I like you. How many girls in, in this crowd wax or shave their vaginas? Raise your hand. Just the two in the front. It's Afro night here at the wedding. It's 70s throwback night. You all have bushes and picks. I like it when girls have landing strips or triangles or if you're Mexican, you have a fence, you know. If you're Asian, you have a math problem. If you're Persian, don't even bother. It's going to grow back in 12 seconds anyway. I shave elephant ears right above. I don't want to get hard. Like, Argh! How's it going? We have Bon Jovi here. Nice to see you, sir. He gave me the finger. Nice job, dude. Way to go to a wedding wearing white shirts and white socks. That's good, sir. I can see your mammal toe from the stage. It's not good. Your band is not going to make it, sir. I'm sorry. You got to return those highlights. Oh, 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 come on. Dude. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Funny, dude. Fuck you. Really? Yeah, oh, really. Dude, this is a joke, bro. Dick. This is what I get pissed. Uh, fuck off. Sorry, the band broke up. <laughs> All right. Wow. It worked bad. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good thing. Good thing that audio was <coughs> horrible, anyways. But yeah, I'm gonna send it to you. Put it in post. Okay. And then I'll just say the one thing that. I said during the whole thing. Which was? Actually, I don't think he's that bad. Oh, yeah. Fix it in post. <laughs> but basically, so what happens is this guy calls the, some dude out in the crowd, like, out for having highlights in his hair or something. Yeah, like he starts calling him Bon Jovi. Yeah, and then he just attacks him. He just stands up, and he's like, well, dude, I'm just getting paid to do this, man. Yeah. And he's like, have a good night. Don't it's stop. It's not fuck funny, man. Don't stop believing. Yeah. That's funny. Good comebacks. Yeah. I'm sorry I ruined that audio. But your phone is bad. Why? Because of all the extra noise. Well, it's your phone. No. <laughs> yeah, yours did it. How are we recording? Oh, my yes, God. We haven't had yeah. that issue in a long time. How are we going to yeah, fucking come back from this? Bye, fuckers. <laughs> We're not. I'm at the Brian Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what? What do you think about that Into the Dark or whatever that show's called? Oh, what's, uh, what's it called? I'll be gone in the dark. Yeah, th- I mean that makes sense. The documentary about the Golden State Killer. Oh, it is man. absolutely amazing. It is amazing. I wish all the episodes were out. Uh, I just want to binge it. I almost started watching a investigation discovery show about the Golden State Killer, and then I was like, I don't want to ruin it because Michelle yeah, McNamara no. is doing such a good job. Yeah, despite being dead, right? But she's doing. Did they find she's dead. the killer like right after she died? Did she? I don't never know about find right it? after. Did she never know who it really yeah, was. Like, I think she was that because sucks. her book kind of uh, reopened the investigation about it, right? Because I think once an investigation is closed, that's how she was able to get 
her hands on all the case files. Yeah. Well, it has she, to be closed. She had uh, worked some of the people in the FBI and yeah, they gained or she gained their trust and stuff. Cause it's kind of like a uh, Zodiac. The dude that so wrote get the that book guy out of here. I don't want to hear about your fucking Zodiac man. <laughs> <boner. laughs> that guy sucked. Okay. This guy did over like 60 rapes and like <laughs> 20 murders. Okay. And he was never talked about. Yeah. Much better That's than the true. Zodiac. Yeah. Never caught he, Oh, it's, neither was his own. You look up to him. I'm really going in circles. Yeah. Mm. What do you want to talk about, dude? I don't know. Like, uh, why did you want me to come over? What are we talking about? Pizza time. Oh, I love pizza. Pineapple does not go on it either. Uh, not according Shh. to Anne. She likes pineapple and ham. I do my half. Pepperoni and ham. I'm going to go Golden State on her. Uh, do it. Rape that. Ben. Oh, you were in a killer. Yes. Ah. Jesus. Sorry. I'm going to make you cuckold that shit. You can watch Ooh. it. You can watch me make out with her. I mean, get her a glass of Chardonnay at Hockey Town. Oh, well, Brett. Uh, the Delaware State Police are investigating oh. an attempted robbery of a pizza store owner that occurred last evening. That's why you played the pizza time. That's correct. Drop. Uh, the incident occurred at approximately 10.30 p.m. when troopers were dispatched to the Stargate Pizza. Ooh, Stargate. Mm, open that up. Uh, remember that movie, no, Stargate? I know okay. what you're talking about, but the reference does not work here in this situation. And gay. For a Jesus report of Christ, attempted robbery. Upon arrival, troopers met with the store owner who advised that he that while he was closing the business... <laughs> damn it. He was approached... <laughs> Outside by a subject who proceeded to display a machete and demand money. A machete. Machete. The store owner advised the suspect that he did not have any money and threw a pizza at him. <laughs> yeah. How does a store owner not have any money? Pizza! Like, <laughs> uh, do they not have good pizza? Do they have no sales? Pizza delivery. I got an extra large sausage just for you. That's what the store owner said. <laughs> Wait, no what? cash though. I'll give you money or a pizza though. Do they not have good pizza? They must not if he has no cash on him. The store owner advised the suspect. Uh, ah, that's true. Man, you're reading it and you just still don't understand. So he uh, threw the pizza at him, and this was enough for the suspect to flee. <laughs> was it R.J. Mitty? R.J. Mitty. That joke was shitty. I think that's Walt Jr. Oh. What is it? Up on the roof? Yeah, okay. Why don't you just play off of my joke? There. Hey, Dad, look at the, look at the website, Dad. Take a look. Time to get your junk as smooth <laughs> as possible so the coronavirus doesn't latch onto your pubes. The store owner d did not... Uh, Stoner? Yeah, the store Whoa, owner what did was not I doing sustain... There? <laughs> sustain sustain injury as a result of the incident i don't know why he would he's the one who threw the pizza the guy didn't attack him with the machete impromptu ah uh, um game give me 20 seconds on george washington now what go george washington owned slaves he cut down a cherry tree he was the first president of the united states of america 10 seconds he is on mount rushmore he is also on the $1 bill. He might even Five be seconds. on the nickel. I don't know anything else about George Washington, but he had white hair. Okay. That was good. Good job. Thank you. Thanks. You were just mumbling all your words together today, and I wanted to help you. The suspect was described as a white male who ran from the scene and got into a vehicle on northbound Sussex Highway. <laughs> The case continues to remain under investigation. Investigate. Why didn't the guy just cut the pizza with his machete, eat mm. it, and say, "Uh, this is worth the money that you don't have? I wish you wouldn't have said that joke. <laughs> I wish we could go back in time. Yeah. I bombed. That was bad. That's me bombing. Mm. All right, Brad. Are you uh, in the dating game yet? Oh, never, Ben. Why? Corona what? Virus. What is the reason? I don't go out. I don't. I don't, I don't go do nothing. I don't. I don't go do nothing. <laughs> you just never know. You never know what's what's going on. 
Well, when you're ready to get back into the dating game, clear your throat, Ben. <laughs> Shut up. There is a certain wow. selfie that hurts men's chances of an online dating. Is it the dick and the face in the picture? <laughs> no, that just hurts you for uh, personal reasons. Oh, okay. Not with the women. Mm-hmm. If you aren't doing well online dating, mm-hmm. here's some advice. Put on a shirt. Put on a shirt. According to a new study by Dating.com, men who use a shirtless selfie in their online dating profiles get 25% fewer matches. Well, A, I would never wear uh, or show a shirtless selfie. So yeah, me neither. I'm good on that one. Yeah. I always heard from women that oh, it's all dudes with no shirts. Yeah. And like that's why women were talking to me. All right. Because right. I had a shirt on. Yeah. All I right. wasn't shirtless. I just don't have the body to be shirtless. Right. Well, definitely you don't, but... Yo, (laughs) fuck no. No. I'm not even good enough to have a dad bod that attracts women. You're not even good enough to have your dad stick around. Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. Wow. (laughs) (laughs) 60% of women... 66% of women say that they... Say that those pictures... George Washington owns... (laughs) (laughs) Say that those pictures <laughs> show a lack of maturity and self awareness. And 76% of women don't think guys with shirtless selfies are long term relationship material. No. If they can take their shirts off so often, that don't mean they're not going to take their women off that often. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of off off. Boom. Boom, daddy. <laughs> Boom, that's a fart. Oh, whoops. I just went to say cool. that. Boom, that's a f- <laughs> You're <laughs> failing. Boom. Thank you. I'm so glad we wasted 30 seconds to wait for that. Boom. Much better. Boom. That, why didn't you do that one the first time? <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. So now if you're wondering, does the same thing apply to women who post bikini photo? Oh, no. But oh, God. Talking about topless photos. Oh, that's not possible. Who post uh, bikini photos in their pro- dating profiles? Absolutely not. Depends on how much muffin top we're talking. That's true. Like, if there's any, honestly, I'm gonna swipe to the. But what if it's just? Side. What if you don't see anything like from the belly button down? Just see the little bit of cleave. Yeah, like mid stomach mm. up. I don't know. Some of those uh, girls can can be pretty uh, pretty. Uh, good when it comes to taking their photo and making them look better than they do. Yeah, Mark Norman has a bit about where they hold the phone up above them. Yep. And because it's like the best view for taking photos where it hides all of your fat. Yeah. 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 I agree. I agree. Women are good at doing that. Women are good at doing that. Especially when you get a woman that you you find attractive, mm-hmm. but it's like all like face photos. Yeah. I'm trying to write a bit about where the girl has the same friend in every photo. Mm-hmm. And so you don't know which one you're talking to exactly. <laughs> yeah, the fat one or the skinny one? Yeah. yeah. Or the one you're just more attracted to. Like, oh, one's a blonde, one's a brunette. They're in each photo together. And then all of a sudden, there's a photo of them and a bunch of friends. Well, usually you'd probably quickly realize it's a man. Yeah, that's yeah. true. After like a month. Yeah, finding out that her parents are dead and yeah, yeah. Uh, dead heart, attacks heart attacks and you know Stinging. car accident that led to the hospital and doesn't weigh four hundred pounds. No, she does. No, do- doesn't weigh four hundred pounds. No, she does. She acts like she doesn't though. Uh, she's she's uh, you know she's a big fat girl, sir. Yeah, I know. That's the drop you're gonna play. No, uh, is she a big fat girl? Was she a big fat woman? Is that what you're going to play? Was she a big fat woman? When you go to the beach and you swim out past the buoys, do people think that there's an island there? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the drop I was uh, waiting The study for. found one in five uh, women have at least one bikini or bathing suit picture in their profile, and they get 40% more matches than other women. That's kind of hot. I mean, guys are shallow. 40%? Wow. So, I mean, what do you expect? All right, Brett, if you know. were stuck in any food and had to eat your way out, Pizza. what would it be? But- oh, butthole. Pussy. Oh. Um, butthole? I th- uh, pizza's a good, uh, a good answer. Or gelato. Mmm. I want to say butthole. 
<laughs> My mom's butt. <laughs> Sorry, mom. To your mom's butthole. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to say... Hey, let me read one gelato. of those questions. Give me a couple of those. I like these things. It's a little <laughs> fun grant bag. Is. I know how you're going to answer this one. Oh, God. Would you give up an inch of penis length for an inch of height? Oh, no. no. Can I do the other way around, though? Can I give like... That's what I was going to... I'm going to ask yeah. you. I'm going to do... Would you give up an inch of penis length to shrink an inch? Height-wise. No. I, why can't I shrink height-wise and give that to my penis length? Oh, that's what you were thinking. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, ah. I'll take four inches off so I can have a four-incher. <laughs> like, well, I'm, I've got a micro penis. Yeah, I know. We discovered that last episode. That is the biggest penis I have ever seen. That's not what she said. Nope. <laughs> just kidding. I don't have a micro penis. It's just smaller than average. So depressing. Hmm. Next question. Who pooped the bed? I want to read it. That's the question. I like pooping is the bed. Who pooped the bed? This hey, is a <laughs> real big investigation. <laughs> I heard about this. As you've probably heard by now. Heard? <laughs> it says Johnny claims, but we're talking Johnny Depp here. That's y'all. right. Johnny that Depp. Either Amber Heard or one of her, her friends a defecated, that means poop, on their bed after Amber's 30th birthday party in April of 2016. It is poop. Johnny wasn't there because they'd have they'd had a massive fight. Supposedly, ah. it was left there for him to find. In a written statement, whoa, wow, oh, ah. I'm Johnny Depp. I don't know if I'm British or American, and I don't know if that's a poop that's for me. He's not French, okay? Ah, uh, wee oui, wee. Oui. Hey, who shit on the coats? Ah, look at this cannoli. <laughs> In a written statement, the maid said that she and another housekeeper found the pile of shit the next day, and it was still fresh. Mm, she said, quote, it was clear to me that this was human feces. I knew Hells, that the yeah. feces could not have come from either of Mr. Depp's or Mrs. Hurd's two small dogs. Yeah, that's right. She tried to blame it on the Yorkies. He's a big old dookie. Yeah. Uh, I have cleaned up after those dogs many times, and their feces are much smaller. Further, I have even known these dogs to and defecate in the bed. Oh, I have never known these do- dogs to defecate in the bed. Uh, the maid right. also provided pictures of said feces, which she what? took because she was angry about the incident. Johnny previously testified oh. that he laughed when he saw those pictures, but also realized at the point that their marriage was over. And the maid said in her Amber statement, turd. <laughs> Get it? That's what everybody's. Oh, that's that's not an title. original Amber joke. Amber turd? Oh, it's not? No. Okay. It's like hashtag Amber turd is going right. around Twitter. Cool, Carlos. As long as, uh, same as uh, people being unverified that are verified. I don't get it. What? What? You didn't hear about the verification hack? No, I heard that Wayfair is selling children, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Very and it's somehow related to Jelaine Maxwell. Uh, well, just missing children. Same thing with yeah. uh, the Redskins owner. Whatever. Somehow he's related. Uh, uh, in relate, Like, he might be married to Jelaine Maxwell. I think I heard Tom, Tom we, Hanks is, like, in charge of this whole Wayfair situation. He's, like, the first one that got COVID. Right. Yeah, it all makes sense. Yeah. Maid Senator said in her statement that Amber confronted her about the pictures, saying they ruined her marriage. She also tried to claim that there was never any poop on the bed in the first place. She has a picture of it. Right. The maid uh, didn't want to argue with Amber because, quote, she has a bad temper, in my opinion, and I do not want her to yell at me. Wait, hold on. Can you read, go back? It says she... She's claiming that the picture of the turd ruined her marriage? Yeah, and the maid said in her statement that Amber Amber confronted her about the pictures, saying they ruined her marriage. But then she claims that there was no feces in the bed in the first place. Yeah. yeah. So how would the picture of the feces in the bed ruin her marriage if there was no feces mm-hmm. in the bed? Because that's what she made people think. This is very yeah, confusing. This is- this is more confusing than the third Pirates of the Caribbean. We should probably get uh, Melissa McCarthy on this right now. <laughs> Hell's yeah. yeah! I don't know why, but I'm on. I, I'm I'm on board. Why not? What? Melissa McCarthy? Yeah. Or M- McNamara. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> she's not dead. that. Yeah. Melissa oh. McCarthy is the actress. Yeah, I'm at McNamara. Okay. Okay. 
The lady who uh, the Golden State Killer. Yeah, she yeah. coined the coined the Golden State. Yeah. After the mate's testimony was read, Amber's rep issued a statement saying, "Quote: The accusation is completely untrue I'll and has been dis- designed purely to humiliate Miss Heard." He added that Johnny probably did it himself I'll because, "quote, it plays you. to his lavatorial and abusive sense of humor." Lavatorial and abusive sense of humor. Yeah, she abused that lavatory. Wow! And then she abused that bed. I don't think that. Uh, I'll kill you. I'll kill you, dude. How creepy that was, is that audio in that documentary? I literally, whew, literally yelled out, "Oh hell no!" <laughs> when I saw that shit, I was like, "He right behind you! Get the fuck out of there!" Whoa! Oh hell no! I'll kill we, you. I'm I'm gonna come to your comedy show. You are? Yeah. You don't even know when it is. July 29th. Exactly. I will be at River North Public House on Plainfield. I'll be there, dude. July 30th. I will be at Parrot's Lounge in Holland. Oh, yeah. You're going on the Irresponsible Tour. Yeah. Yes. August 4th. No, it's the Vicious Circle. Oh, yeah. Vicious Sorry. Circle Tour. August 4th. I will be at JB Whiskey's in Battle Creek. I think it's called the Back At It Tour. The back at it tour? Yeah, because you know it's been like, you know, ninety days since You know what you should call it any comedy. What's that? The veteran suicide tour. Whoa. Why would I do that? Because that uh, one time you told suicide joke at a veteran's uh, home uh, or whatever. Yeah. At yeah. a benefit. At a veteran's benefit, yeah. <sighs> it's like it's like going in there. It's almost as bad as telling a PTSD that. joke, you know? Yeah, seriously. Yeah. I wanna write jokes about that, but I don't know. I'm going to oh. need some time to pass on Do you want to hear details like about how people. Jurassic World is being filmed during lockdown? Um, the third one? Yeah. All right. And it might be how movies are made in the future is what it says. <laughs> are they doing it through Zoom? <laughs> they gave us 109 pages. They invested all their heart and soul and a lot of money into making sure that we're safe. Jeff Goldblum has revealed behind-the-scenes details about how the Jurassic World franchise has resumed filming as production picks back up for the first time in four months. Back in March, the Jurassic World domination set was shut down as the coronavirus pandemic swept across the globe, shuttering productions across the entertainment industry. Yeah, all movies. Uh, The movie was barely a month into filming when Universal followed in the steps of other studios and paused production. But as lockdown uh, measures have begun to ease in various parts of the world. It was reported that Jurassic Park, uh, World, Jurassic World, and Avatar Two would be the first uh, Hollywood blockbusters to resume fil- filming. Who cares about Avatar? Uh, I do. According to Deadline, no expense was spared when it come came to implementing safety protocols. With Universal uh, said to have to have spent around five million dollars on measures such as testing. Damn. Uh, this reportedly includes a drive through coronavirus test facility that all cast and crew must undertake before being cleared to go on set. Yeah. And in a, rec- uh, in a recent interview with Entertainment Tonight, Jeff Goldblum seemed to confirm the strict measures revealing that he'd received a 109-page document as he prepares to relocate to London for filming. Quick, Jeff Goldblum impression. <laughs> As a man, I like to look good, but I'm thinking it's not always the best decision. Good job. Thank you. We're heading in about a a week and a half, all of us over to England, uh, where there are protocols galore, Jeff explained. We're going to be very safe, I think, and we're going to shoot Jurassic World. I'm so glad that they're bringing him back like to actually be in the movie. Yeah. Well, I didn't even know that until right now. You didn't know that? No. The original cast alert. is going to be in this one. Hot damn. So uh, Sam... Uh, blah, blah. Elliot? Neil. Sam, ah. Sam Neil and the one chick, I believe, are going to be in it. Oh, the blonde lady? Yeah. She like, annoys me. Okay. What wow. about the kids? The kids going to be in it? Ooh, good question. I don't know about that one. Man. Uh, Jeff went on to confirm that the whole cast, including leading stars Chris Pratt and Bry- uh, Bryce Dallas Howard, can't stand her, will be there too. Uh, we know it's a risky time, but we feel... Uh, it's good, he went on. Bryce Dall- Dallas Howard also uh, s- briefly spoke about the measures in a recent interview telling Sirius XM's EW Live. There's been a lot of communication. They are going above, they are going above and beyond. He's talking. Yeah, we, we would never go back to work <laughs> if we didn't feel safe. 
However, despite the extensive measures being put in place, Universal Studios were forced to deny recent claims that production on the third installment of Jurassic Park have already been halted due to a number of positive coronavirus tests. Ah, on its first day back, um, reports claim that members of the crew had tested positive for COVID-19, apparently throwing production into chaos. A spokesperson uh, for Universal responding to the claim says, any reports indicating the Jurassic World dom- Dominion... Oh, it's not Domination, it's Dominion. <laughs> It's saying uh, domination this whole time. I said it once before. Shut like up. Four times. Has halted production or categorically untrue. The production is in its fifth day of shooting and we're thrilled to be back in front of the camera. Blah, 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 blah. So it seems like this revolutionary way that they're doing it is having drive through COVID testing. Yeah. Cool. Fuck. Waste of my fucking time, BuzzFeed. You're up in Canada. I saw um, are pretty much like flat like they uh flatten the curve on their oh, covid wait is zendaya gonna be in this movie is who zendaya who's zendaya zendaya fram the black girl oh from she's lost hot. world no she's uh she's uh from uh I thought it was jeff goldblum's like stepdaughter no. or whatever oh it might be no uh, oh she's spider-man tom's She's uh plays MJ in the Spider Man. She's black? Yeah, she's the black girl in the new Spider Man's with Tom Holland. Oh, okay. I know who you're talking about now. But apparently they're working on uh Uncharted video game movie. Tom I, Holland is gonna be the No idea what that is. It's a video game. I just want movie theaters to open it back up because I, I want to see are. the new Christopher Nolan movie. So bad. Tenet. Oh, yeah. It's not even out yet, though. Didn't they have to it, push it back again? It's uh, August something, like August 11th or 18th or something like that. I would not be mad if they uh, took that one to On Demand. I would be. I want to see that one in the theater. Oh, yeah. That's true. But I also wouldn't be mad. I'd pay the $20 to sit at home and watch it. And turn my I fucking, would, too. Turn my subwoofers on. But still, I want to see that one in theaters. That's why I hope theaters don't die because there are still there's always going to be movies that I would rather see in the theater. I don't know why drive-in movie theaters aren't making more of a comeback right now. Yeah, seriously. I mean, we, I know we only have one movies. around here, but like, yeah. I don't know. I feel like there's other ways we could do this. Inflatable drive-in movie theaters, like the screens. Inflatable. Yeah, they have those screens that inflate, oh. and they're huge. Apparently, Garth Brooks was in town because uh, he's doing a concert where it's going to be webcast, like broadcast over all these different drive in movie theaters. Oh, yeah. While he plays at one. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah. It's going to be like uh, fucking Tupac Shakur up there, holographic, my Hells yeah. But like real. <laughs> <laughs> real <laughs> country shit. Real dog. <laughs> Speaking of real, I got some real random luck. <gasps> Woof. A man in suburban. <laughs> That was really loud. A man of suburban. A man of suburban Detroit. Detroit Rock City. Somebody close to Motown, us. baby. You Eat might know tea. this guy. He was given the wrong lottery ticket. Oh, no. Oh, shucks. That's why you have to fill out the forms. The Michigan Lottery said the man stopped at a gas station in East Point, Michigan to put air in a tire. North, south, east. He needed change for the air machine and also asked for a $10 Lucky 7 scratch-off hey, man, ticket. Can I get one of them $10 Lucky 7 scratch-off tickets? The clerk handed me... this. Oh, this is the guy talking. The clerk handed me... The clerk 20, handed me $20. $20. Oh, you want to read the read what he says? Yeah. Uh, the play. clerk handed me... The clerk, the clerk handed me... The $20, the $20 ticket, ticket by, mistake. by mistake. He offered... He offered... To exchange it for me. To exchange it for me. But something told me to keep it. Something told me to keep that black lucky seven. But there was no <laughs> mistake about the result. Oh, hell. This ain't a winner. A $2 million winner. No, wait. It is a winner. <laughs> you gave me the wrong ticket. Take it back. I don't want this $2 million winner. Is that what uh, the story is about? I'm sure glad I kept it. The man said in a statement released Tuesday by the lottery. The oh, man. Oh, I get it. He yeah. accidentally bought it, but he didn't want that one. No, yeah. Nah, it's he, a wanted two million. A, he wanted a ten dollar ticket. They yeah. gave him a twenty dollar ticket. No, it's too expensive. He paid the twenty dollars wow. for the twenty dollar ticket now and he's won out two million dollars. Yeah, I know. Now he's out one million nine hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred and eighty dollars. That's true. The name of the fifty seven year old man was released. Oh no, why would they release that? Public. 
Do you have to do that in Michigan? Do you have to have your name released if uh, you win the lottery? I don't know. I think so. That sucks. Maybe. Why? I never won the lottery. Why can't we be one of those states where you don't have to, where you can be? Yeah, in, I don't uh, want to fucking be charities calling for my money. Incognito. Fuck that. Uh, Let me spend see. my money first, and then I'll give some away to charities. Oh, listen to this. He decided to take the lump sum of about $1.3 million instead of $2 million spread over many years. I'd do that shit. Yeah, especially because it's that fi- low of he's an 57. amount. seven. Yeah. You're going to be dead by the time, man. Yeah. Give me all that money so I can go buy myself a new house, a new car, a new helicopter. Be good. All right, Brett. Uh, this is a big, big question for the podcast. Uh, huh? What's the best condiment? At these fa- these five fast food places. Okay. Wait, am I giving you the answer? Uh, you can guess. Okay. I've got the answers here. You've got questions. You also have the answers. That's right. Chick-fil-A. Uh, their barbecue sauce. <coughs> uh, ranch. <coughs> Honey mustard. <coughs> Tangy. Mm. You're thinking to sriracha out of the box. <coughs> Ketchup. <coughs> Mustard. <coughs> Barbecue sauce. <coughs> Tangy. Guess that one. <coughs> uh, the last dab. Chick-fil-A has Chick-fil-A sauce. <coughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've After literally only guesses. been there one time. Oh, dude, the Chick-fil-A sauce is the bomb. I can tell that you like it. I want to get it in tubs. Yeah, I can tell that yeah. you would do that. Badass. All right, Subway. E fresh. Zesty sauce. <coughs> Ranch. <coughs> Mayonnaise. <coughs> Turkey. <coughs> uh, jalapeno. <coughs> oh, Southwestern. <gasps> the Chipotle Southwest sauce. Yes. First try, baby. The second and second place was a tie for honey mustard and sweet onion. Gag me. Yeah, seriously. Fucking make me puke <laughs> all over myself. All right, here we go. Taco Bell. Mild. Fuck yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite sauce (laughs) there is the mild hot sauce. Mm, Me too. I'm surprised it wasn't, you know, like the hot hot sauce. Mm. But I don't know. Fuck that. That's too hot. K-F-C. Barbecue sauce. (laughs) Ranch. Ooh, honey barbecue was tied for second with ranch. Okay, honey barbecue. Ranch. What's first, though? Southwestern. <coughs> Zesty. <coughs> honey mustard. <coughs> that was tied for a second. Oh, no, that's honey barbecue. <coughs> I don't know. Tell me. Finger, Finger licking, licking good, good sauce. sauce. Yeah. Yes. I've never heard of that. Really? Never heard of finger licking good sauce. What the Finger. fuck is that? Yeah, I have no idea. But it's Let finger me guess. licking good. Next one's going to be Arby's. Nope. The last one is Mick. McDonald's. Arby's, I'd say horsey sauce or Arby sauce. Okay, thanks. McDonald's, barbecue sauce. Ranch. Honey mustard. Sweet and sour. Yes, if you could get that a tub of that, head. you would. Hells yeah. I knew it. I'd drink it. If they had... Like, Back when they didn't give you like a crappy amount of sauces <laughs> and they would just, you know, throw like five in the bag right? but now coronavirus is like you have to pay for it wasn't extra. even coronavirus well, but now it's like, like 10 years when i was a kid that. man i would just drink the extra ones i know we can tell uh, sweet mm. sour sauce on my pussy oh yeah put some chick-fil-a sauce on my balls and sweet and sweet and sour on my dick mm. Mm. it's a taste of dick what should i get balls. for dinner i don't know but i'm hungry now too, oh, me too. you want to go get dinner Butthole? together you're going to climb out of that butthole? Yeah. All right, Brett. Okay. Hey, I want to ask you one. You stay over at someone's house, and when you wake up, you realize you pissed in their bed. Do you sneak out or tell them? Mm. I probably just... <laughs> You're putting a lot of thought into this one. I probably just lay there pee on them the question is how did you get into their bed uh, it's my bed i'm gonna lay there pee on them make sure they get up i'm gonna get into a car accident they leave me i'm gonna get into a car accident and I'll probably go to jail 
basically. That was yeah. all a true story. <laughs> Wait, what? What? <laughs> that actually happened? <laughs> you peed on somebody what? and then left and got in a car accident? Oh, shit. No. No way. My buddy peed the bed and blamed it on his girlfriend. Well, I was... Uh, that's bad. I would have yeah. taken the blame on that one. It was in the height of my drug taking phases, Ben. Oh, really? I pissed the bed because I was so fucking high off of Xanax. Oh, wow. And so passed out. Uh, pissed on my girlfriend. <laughs> uh, she broke up with me. Well, we weren't like it was mid kinda, piss. It was kind of a middle thing. Yeah, she got up miss, mid piss, and I'm still peeing on her. She left. Oh man! I got in my car. I was still high. I got in a car accident. It was not good. Did you tell me you didn't get in trouble for being high while you get? Oh no, that was uh, for me trying to break into her house later. I went to jail. Oh. Damn, dude. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. I threw in the, all those random facts yeah, just to make the story more interesting. Too specific, I think. For uh, I would totally tell the person that I peed in their bed. Well, they're probably listening right now. I don't have anything good to tell. <laughs> Besides my friend that peed on his bed. Hey, I just got too, sh- too drunk and pissed in your bed. Yeah. Too bad you weren't there for me to do it on you. I did... Uh, those are, those days are in the past though. Ben. I did. I was living in the basement at a house with roommates. Try. I couldn't make it up the stairs, mm-hmm. and so I peed on the door in my bedroom. Didn't know this till the morning I woke up. Mm-hmm. There was a towel next to my door, and I had no idea why. Yeah. Uh, my girlfriend at the time left me a note on my Pam. bed. Pam. Pam. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Explaining everything that had happened. Uh-huh. And we broke up shortly after that, too. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, don't pee in your bed, kids. That's the... Yeah. And don't get fucked up and, and do that stuff either. That's the lesson to learn here. Yeah, you'll lose control of your bladder. We should name the episode after something involving that. Oh, okay. Piss the bed. Oh, piss the bed, Fred. Uh, would you rather have to watch a sex tape of your parents every day for the rest of your life uh. or watch every game your sports team plays and they lose every time? Uh, I'm going to pick the sports game. I'm used to the Lions. So yeah, exactly. Cool. I watched every single game of the 0-16 season. Mm, I didn't. I hate sports. What's the worst drunk food you can eat after a night of drinking? What's the worst? Yeah. Oh, dude, it's got to be something like cereal with milk. Really? That's yeah. the worst drunk food? Yeah, because mixing milk with like liquor get, does like not like get home or beer. Okay, you get I, home. You it get made drunk. me sick the whole next day before when I did it, I, and I threw. I was just throwing up constantly. That's weird. That's like weird. I was fine before that, just a little hungover. That is a weird one, Ben. But then I had cereal and ugh. I'm gonna have to say B dubs ruined me. Seriously? Yes, because like that shit, like that's the worst shits in the morning. <laughs> oh man, those are the worst. I can imagine. I'll I'll like some. Oh, exactly. Like yeah. Oh god. I, was, I just had beat ups the other day. Mm, that sounds good. Yeah. Mm, I might have to get some. <laughs> Gotta get drunk first though. Uh, all right. Well, I'm at the Brett Hayes, and I'm at the Van Glaze. I'm actually at the Brett Glaze. No, that's right. You are. Yeah, that's me. You know what we never got? What? Uh, emails, emails from the women about things that happened to them. We don't, I can't remember we don't exactly. normally get emails. We never get emails. No. Emails at glazeandhaze at gmail.com. Or email us at glazeandchains <laughs> at gmail.com. <laughs> theglenblaze.com. That's right. Ooh, the Glen Blaze. Go to patreon.com slash glazeandhaze. We are coming up on episode 100. Aha. Uh-huh. What are we? Gonna, we're gonna do something special with yeah, your friends. We're gonna do a, a hot ones episode. Yes, our own hot ones episode. Um, I don't know, like I don't know how the how they plan to do it. I don't know if they're gonna ask us like super pertinent questions to like. Hey, what's the like? Hot the, ones has the podcast or yeah, seriously. Like I don't know what they're gonna ask us, but the guys from the people on Hot Ones ask. They get great questions. Yeah, right. Like shit, people normal people wouldn't even think to ask so your your buddies better bring the heat i'm gonna have them in two different ways do some dig on all right with you when you ask ben something ask make him sure about his friend jerking him off no make sure eric zane is involved ah. in the question why because that'll make you feel a little good no it won't oh it won't 
No. Get over yourself, Patrick. Oh my God. You're such a pussy. <laughs> Bye, fuckers. Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, maniacs, the loonies, and ding-dongs. Some people would say that we're the crazy ones, but I think we're geniuses because we're crazy enough to try to change this ding-dong crazy world. I mean, Ian, that was awesome, yes? It was fun. See? It's fun. It was, it was fun and cartoonish and silly for what it was. Goodbye. Oh, boy. That's awesome.